Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of the FabFitFun Spring 2021 add-on sale for annual members. The seasonal window is a little bit later. Dates will be in the description box below. And I am here with my tips, tricks, and product reviews video for you. If you're new to my channel, what I do for these videos is I like to record my computer screen so I can go through the entire sale and kind of take you around to different websites to show you things that I have learned. I don't claim to be an expert. I just really like making these and I really like interacting with all of you. So if you have any feedback, any input, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and start a conversation. I would love that. And that's about it. Let's get into recording my computer screen. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. And one of the first things I do to decide if I want to purchase a product or not is I check to see if it is cruelty free. And my favorite cruelty free reference site is cruelty-free-kitty.com. This is the URL right here. All of the URLs I will put in the description box below, all the links that I talk about and this is the home page and if you want to search they used to have a search box right on the home page but if you want to search a brand you have to now click on this magnifying glass and we're going to search Elemis because there is some news on Elemis they are no longer cruelty free and I thought I was going nuts but I just read on the forum somebody else said that this is a recent thing that they started selling in China so Elemis is not cruelty free so I will no longer be purchasing purchasing products from Elemis which is a bummer they're a really really lovely brand and I'm excited that I was able to try some of their things before this happened um, sometimes the site will tell you when they the status changed but i didn't see it for for this one but anyway uh so this the elements is not cruelty free if, if this isn't something you're interested in no judgment at all this is actually something i started to do initially to save money and then it just becomes became something i tried to get better and better at and i am in no way perfect i have gotten weak and purchase things from my my toughest one is living proof their products work in my hair really well but they're owned by unilever so that's an example of a brand actually that is cruelty free but they're owned by a parent company that's not cruelty free so you can also decide how strict you want to get there's another example is kate somerville they are uh they are cruelty free You'll see that here, but then if you scroll down to read a little bit more, you'll see their parent company is also Unilever, and so you'll learn a little bit about that. It's owned by a parent company that tests on animals. Yes, they're owned by Unilever, which is not a cruelty-free brand. So you can decide which level of cruelty-free you want to be if you want to explore this option. There's also other resources. You just have to choose one that you find to be reliable and that holds brands to the same kind of standards that you want to hold brands to. Uh, I've found variations across different reference sites. So this is the one that I've found that I like and I agree with the most. So that is one way that I check. Another thing that I like to do is I like to check ingredients. I have kind of gotten an idea of what ingredients I like to avoid. Here and there I'll add a new ingredient. And to do that you would use skincharisma.com. So I'm just gonna go and grab, this is my cart so everything in here is going to have fairly decent ingredients but you copy the ingredients list so this is the Graydon skincare aloe milk cleanser I'm just copying the ingredients list and I'm going back to skincharisma.com and then you go to the home this is the home page and then you go to this link right here it says cosmetic analyzer and it brings you to this and you paste the ingredients into this little box and you click analyze product the good thing about this website also is you can create a login and you can kind of add ingredients to your profile so you can kind of customize yourself within this site so you can learn more and more about what works for you and what doesn't this actually does make it really easy to learn about ingredients it feels really overwhelming but this is a really really great way to start if you are interested in that so it analyzed the product here's the ingredient analysis results you can see quick notes here and then uh, ratings by skin type so for dry skin it's okay for sensitive skin there is something in it that you might be want, want to be aware of and I highly recommend doing this if you have sensitive skin and then down here there's a more of a detailed breakdown of ratings of each ingredient and they use two resources to give the ratings 
One is the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, and the other is the CIR, which is the Cosmetics Ingredients Review. So if you want to go and learn more about a particular ingredient, like let's say here, limonene, it gives a six rating with the EWG. So you go to the EWG, this is their homepage, and then if you click here, visit Skin Deep, it's their cosmetics analyzer, and you enter, oh, keeps giving me that, and if you enter the ingredient into their search engine, you can read more about that particular ingredient on the EWG site to see why they give it this rating. And you can scroll down and you can see which kinds of products have this ingredient, allergies, immunotoxicity, etc. And then if you were interested in the cosmetics ingredients review, unfortunately there's no rating provided from them for this, but let's see if we can find the ingredient there anyway. Here is the cosmetics ingredient review homepage. If you click on ingredients, you also get a search engine. Let's see if we can find anything on this ingredient here. No, no results. That's interesting. Huh, never seen that before. So let's look up citrus orantium. Dulcis, orange peel oil. <laughs> let's let's copy that and look it up over here. I really like the cosmetics ingredient review because you can actually get led to peer-reviewed journal articles on each ingredient. So you see here, published report. And these are peer-reviewed journal articles. So scientists, doctors have read this and it's the... Uh, uh, well, scientists, doctors have written this and then their peers have reviewed it to make sure that it was a legitimate scientific study that was done and is worthy of being published in a journal. And it, this is in the International Journal of Toxicology about this actual ingredient. So this is like legitimate research. This isn't just Googling and reading opinion articles. This, this, this website I really like. So that's how you can learn about ingredients and then the next thing that i like to do we're going to go ahead and close out of these that is a very cursory overview of how to explore if something's cruelty free and to learn about ingredients and then the next thing i like to do is i like to read the forum so this is the particular uh, thread that i'm following on the forum right now to learn more about the products there are so, so many. So if you just go, this is the home page of the forum that I'm clicking on right now. All of the th uh, threads that are available are here on the right hand side. And you can go here and you can look up any thread that relates to the sale that we are actually in right now. Here's what are you refreshing for in the spring add-on sale so people will get into talking about what the things they're exci most excited about in the sale. So, Highly recommend. You can also get to get to know other people that are have been fun customers as well, and it can be really fun. So, I love reading the forum. And then, the next thing I want to talk about is just a couple of tricks to navigate the sale. The first thing is here is this search hourglass. Don't forget to use it. This is how things go out of stock so quickly. People come into the sale and they search what they are particularly looking for and they're able to filter and add it to their cart that way. So if you're frustrated by that, definitely look for that feature and use it for yourself. Another thing that I want to point out is that there is this little heart by each product and you can click it and it adds it to your favorites. So if you are refreshing, refreshing, refreshing for something, you don't have to refresh the entire sale to hope that you can find it showing up as available. You can add it to your favorites and then you can go over to this link above here, right here, it says my favorites. You can find it anywhere. I clicked over here, there for a certain reason, but you can click here too. I don't want to click here on this page because what I did is I loaded the wholesale here. So when I record, it goes more quickly anyway. So you can click on my favorites and you can see, hey, I've been waiting for that to become available. I actually just snagged this Mighty Patch product, which I don't know if I'm gonna get or not, but I was interested in it. So that was actually kind of nice. I just snagged it and it was not available. So here, I just snagged one of the coveted unhide, excuse me, unhide blankets. People are all over these and I'm not gonna get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and free it up. Oh look, wow, people are dropping it. 
Look at that. I just maxed out on the unhyped blankets. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna dump that anyway. I have two and I'll talk about them later. Um, so anyway, so this is how you would snag something that you've been waiting to see show up as available. You see, these aren't in stock, and if I wanted to snag them, I would just keep hitting refresh over and over, waiting for them to become available. Now, those are my main overall tips for navigating the sale to snag things that you've been waiting to become available. Now we're going to talk about my cart. So this is what my cart looks like right now. Um, it is at $94.53. I am skipping the spring box. I just was not interested in any of the products that were available. I did do a really thorough product review video of all of those things that are in the box. So I will link that in the description box below. So I'm uh, with my credit, I'm at $94.53 and I am likely going to dump I don't know quite a bit more maybe we'll see um, so we're gonna get started I'm gonna talk about why I'm interested in these products so the cocoa floss delicious mint I am just a terrible flosser I've heard good things about this I really enjoyed reading the website when I was researching all of the products that were available in the spring box and it looks really fun it's by it's a company it's uh, run by two sisters one's a dentist one's an artist and the dentist wanted to create a floss that helped people floss that made flossing more fun and I am a terrible terrible flosser and apparently it is a very nice floss people who talk about it on the forum really really like it and I mean it's five bucks which is a lot for a floss but at this point it's little to spend to try to spare my teeth that aren't in good shape but anyway so I am going to try that uh and then this is really speaking to me. So this is a K-Beauty brand, a very luxury, high-end K-Beauty brand, and clean, all of that. They are, um, it's hard, not hard, it's tougher to find reviews on this product, but when you do actually find them, they are wonderful. And yeah, people are just speaking really highly of it. It's available on um, Net A Porter, which I was trying to figure out what exactly what Net A Porter was. It seems like a kind of a conglomerate or kind of like a one-stop shop for our luxury brands. Um, this is a K-Beauty brand that first became available through Peach and Lily. There's a really good article on Influencer about this line of products in general. So if you want to learn a little more, I would search for their... Um, their product uh, their brand name and then influencer and read that article but i'm really really interested in this because it's not only is it a vitamin vitamin c serum in a dark bottle which is really important vitamin c breaks down and becomes inefficient really easily uh but it's supposed to be formulated with a stable vitamin c and then it's also got hyaluronic acid and oils so it's also very moisturizing it's almost like a two in one for the morning i am really really interested in this so i may or may not get it it's just really calling to me i have yet to use a vitamin c serum that i felt like did anything to brighten my skin and and make my dark spots uh go away or or become less dark <laughs> at least so i'm i'm this is speaking to me and then there's the Graydon Skin Care Aloe Milk Cleanser. This just sounds great for dry skin, which is what I have. Milk cleansers are just, they just feel great on my skin. Um, Graydon Skin Care is a Canadian brand founded by a woman who's a vegan chef yoga instructor. That's what she is. I didn't say that well, but that's what she is. And that's what I remember reading from the website. And um, not a whole lot of reviews on a whole lot of their products, but the ones that are out there are good. So this is something that I'd be interested in trying. This little bundle. I, you know, I was surprised. I looked into Dermalect a little more than usual, and they are actually a cruelty-free brand. And people say really, really good things about their products. I remember there was a neck cream that I felt like 
actually worked. And I, I, I've never used neck cream other than that where I felt like it worked. I felt like my neck felt like the skin was firmer. I don't know what they did or how they did it. But when I looked a little further into the ingredients and I started learning ingredients, I didn't like the ingredients that were in that neck cream. So I kind of brushed the brand off. Um, that said, they are a cruelty free brand. They don't claim to be a clean beauty, at least as far as I could tell. Uh, maybe they're moving in that direction, but I, again, their products just seem to work. People say that about a lot of their products. So I am excited about this hand cream. People were saying good things about it. And I had these two things in my car, the hand cream and the London Town Nail Bells. And since I had those two things in my car, the bundle is actually cheaper than the two of these separately. And why not get a crystal nail file for essentially free? So the London Town polishes, I really, really like. If I do my nails well, it, they will last a week. The color will last a week. These are not colors. Keep that in mind. If you think that this is an opaque mauve color, an opaque pink, an opaque peachy color, um, then you'll be really, really disappointed. These are just like sheer polish polishes to give you that really clean manicured look, look, but it will look like your nail. So don't be, don't get this thinking that that's what it is because you'll be so disappointed. Um, but the London Town nail products, I think they're 16 free and they're in department stores and they're really, really nice. I own a lot of them. <laughs> Okay, the Espa products. So this is a UK based line of products and they are, um, they were in spas and whatnot. And they, since the last time I saw them in available uh, in sale, bleh, since the last time I saw them available in sales, they seem to have just expanded, just grown so, so much. And before when I looked into them, I couldn't find much on them. Now you go and you look at their website at least. And some of the products that are available in the sale have thousands of reviews on their website and they have just spread in the United States and all across Europe, they just exploded since the last time I looked into them and they have great reviews. There aren't a lot of reviews other than on their own website and I'm usually skeptical of that, but I am okay with it because there are thousands of reviews. When it's like under 50, you feel like they just gave it to their family and friends and asked their family and friends to leave reviews. But when there are thousands of really good reviews on certain products, then that I, I kind of start to believe. Anyway, <laughs> that said, that's about this brand in general. So remember that for when I talk about their other products, but I absolutely love Jasmine. It's one of my all time favorite scents and who doesn't need hand lotion right now in the days of hand washing. So I am really, really intrigued about this hand lotion. So I will likely get it. The next thing is the Design Me Quickie Me Brunette Dark Tones Dry Shampoo. I have been raving about the De Design Me Puff Me Shampoo and Conditioner, and I have never had a dry shampoo that was good for brunettes, so I am inclined to try this. We'll see how it goes. I, if it went as well as the Puff Me stuff, I am going to be, if it went half as well as the Puff Me stuff, I will be happy. So I will probably get that. And then there's the Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. This has about four stars on Sephora. It's a clean uh, beauty line, clean ingredients, uh, cruelty-free, all of that wonderful stuff. And people are saying really good things about this for the most part. It is for dry or normal skin. I don't think it's really recommended if you have oilier skin. It's very, very hydrating. Some people do say that it has a little bit of a funky smell, smell excuse me, while others say that they don't smell anything at all. So there's that it's kind of a toss up, but everything I've seen uh, in the forum, especially people are saying really good things about this. And at this price, this is a really, really good dis discount. We don't see discounts this great on um, FabFitFund that often, $62 and you can get it for $9, 85% off. That's That just sadly feels really rare. Um, 
And then the next product is the Good Habit Water Jelly Dew Cream. I don't know that I'll get this. I'm just more intrigued by this brand because they apparently are saying we need blue light protection in our lives, just the same as we need UV protection and SPF. They're saying that we need blue light, that the blue light that's coming from our computer screens and our phones that we're constantly exposed to is also bad for our skin and causes the collagen breakdown. I don't know. It didn't say that explicitly, but it's also bad for our skin. So that's really, really interesting. They also had, let's just go to the website. They also have a list of ingredients that they promise to never use. So this only has 14 reviews, four and a half stars on their own website. So this is an instance where I wouldn't really uh, go off of that for myself, but this is their story. And they promise to never use any of these ingredients. So this is actually kind of a really good list to go off of if you just are wanting a, a list of ingredients that are questionable, you could use this list. But um, I don't know, I just thought that this was an intriguing brand. I don't know if it's true that actually blue light is as harmful as UV. Um, I, I don't know. So go ahead and read their about page. It's it's really interesting. So I am probably not going to get the water cream. There aren't a lot of reviews about it. I'll probably just go ahead and dump it right now. Here's a blog that talks about it. But I, um, yeah, uh, I, found, I found the brand just really, really intriguing. And they're using an angle that we just don't see anywhere. So I just went ahead and dumped it from my cart. So now I'm down to $75. And please, if you can, throw in a dollar for whatever organization, whatever charity Fabbit Fun is supporting each season. I don't know why this only just occurred to me to do, but I, I max out on the dollar. Oh, you don't you can't max out. So I'm going to go up to five bucks on the one tree planted. If you can throw in a buck, you know, you're spending money on other stuff. Why don't you just throw in a dollar? I don't know why it didn't occur to me until like two sales ago. So I've been doing that. Um, and then this, I thought that this might be mighty patch. People love the mighty patch stuff. And usually what I've seen is for blemishes, but this is supposed to be a micro, point for post blemish marks the dark spots from that i thought it was dark spots from like just a hyperpigmentation from sun exposure so that's what i thought it was and that's why i was refreshing for it but now that i know it's for um blemishes i don't get enough of them to need this so i'll let somebody else have that and then there is the crave beauty great barrier relief serum this is a company that was founded by a beauty influencer leah you? Uh-oh, I don't know if I'm remembering her name right. Um, but she is one of those people who wanted to find a brand that simplified skincare, brought it back to being fun and um, and resetting our skin. You know, we, we can often overdo it with skincare. So I want to make sure I get her name right. Um... Leah, 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 <laughs> Leah's YouTube. Maybe that's why I thought her name was Leah U. Anyway, uh, you can find it if you need to. I don't want to take too long because this video is going to be quite long. This is her. Uh, and this is the website. So it is a really, really raved about product. It has just over four stars. It's like 613 reviews on their website and then good reviews. Otherwise, Hiram, if you watch him, my friend, good friend sent me a link to one of his videos recently where he talked about the best serums. Um, I don't know if it's the best serums of 2020. I think it might have been the best serums of 2020. And he included this one in it. He also included the Volition Strawberry Sea Serum that's available in the sale. I'll talk about it a little more when I get to it. And then the next thing I have in my cart is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. So this People are saying great things about it. It looks like a nice tinted lip balm. It has good reviews on Sephora. Um, not much else to say about it. Milk makeup is cruelty free and clean. I um, I need this like I need a hole in the head though. So we'll see if I keep that. 
And then uh, this is the Design Me Hair Lift Me Volumizing Mousse. So I, after using their Puff Me Shampoo and Conditioner, again, <laughs> I've been talking about it so much, I am really interested in volumizing products in general. I just can't believe how much I enjoyed that shampoo and conditioner. So I thought maybe I'd be into this. So we'll see. We'll see. I might not get this either. It could be really good though. <laughs> okay, so that's my cart right now. I do think I will dump a lot. I actually wanted to try to buy nothing. I kind of thought I would take spring off from purchasing anything from FabFitFun. So actually, I'm doing pretty good. This isn't as much. It wasn't, so it wasn't hard to get down to this. And there are definitely things I'm looking at here where I will, as I'm going through it, just think, you know what? I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, but I am, these are the things I'm mostly intrigued by. So that's my cart. Now let's get into talking about the rest of the sales. So this is it. Okay. So the unhide blanket, I have two. It is ridiculously soft. It is small. Um, I actually am kind of disappointed with how small it is. It's 50 by 60 inches. So what is that? Five feet by just over four feet and that's really small so there's that somebody on the forum said it was founded by Ellen DeGeneres and that they didn't like her and I don't know why I, if you know why with Ellen DeGeneres is unlikable let me know in the in the comments below I'm so curious um so it is founded by Ellen DeGeneres and it is a synthetic fur. It's supposed to feel like chinchilla and chinchilla is an incredibly soft animal if you've ever had the pleasure of petting one. People have said that they fall apart when you wash them. Others have said they haven't had that problem. People are going bonkers for these, these blankets. Are, is it a nice blanket? Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's warm. I don't think that I, I don't, I'm not bonkers for it, and I feel like you could find just as lovely throws at TJ Maxx or wherever you want to search for them. But if you need a throw and you like this color, it's, it's, it's gray. It says silver, but you know, it's gray. Okay, the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. I have the not waterproof version of this, and I really like it. I looked at reviews of this though and it, it doesn't have good reviews on Sephora. It has three stars and people said that it is, excuse me, it is not waterproof, even though it says so. People love the spongels, spongelies, never know how to say it, but people love the spongelies. I personally don't use them, um, but if you have any questions about them, you can go to the forum and all of the spongelly fans will come like scurrying and, and responding to you to let you know what they think about different scents and things like that. Um, if I don't know much about something, I'm just going to gloss over it. So I'll just say don't know. Oh, people did say that this is a, the scent, it doesn't smell very fragrant. So um, that was interesting. And then I saw somebody else say that uh, a lot of people said that it damaged the surface that it was on. So you'd want to put it on a coaster or something. But uh, people were saying that you can't smell it. It's not very fragrant. Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, so I don't even consider their products for myself. I do know that when, pe generally when people talk about them, I see good things, uh, but that's, I don't know, don't listen to me there. I don't buy them because they're uh, not cruelty free. Poopery, people say it works. You spray it in your toilet before you go and it helps with the scents. Uh, let's see. Oh, people say that this really works really well uh, for if you are acne prone. A lot of people will say that they buy it for their teenager. There are the London Town Nail Veils. I could never bond with this brand. So something that I also do is I will just go to a brand's website. I will go to all the brand's website. I love reading about pages and it just helps me know if I connect with the brand at all and going to their website I just did not correct connect <laughs> I just did not connect with the rock your hair brand um all as always leave comments below I'm so curious what you guys think I purchased this OPI nail envy in the one of the last sales and I just learned that I am not an OPI fan. Their metallic shades last well, but I used this as a base coat and it says that you can do that. 
Um, it says that right here, basically what alternative you can use it as. And it just, I, my nail polish chipped that night and I was so frustrated. I used this, I used an OPI nail color and then I used the Rapid Dry Top Coat and my nail polish chipped that night. Like hour, just a few hours later on multiple nails. So upset. Um, I don't know anything about this old Henriksen stuff. Um, okay, let's see. I just went on a rant about OPI. I don't recommend OPI nail polish unless you get the metallics. Those do last. Um, Invisibobbles, I have them. They're fine. They're better than the elastics. I have been turned on to soap scrunchies lately, though. Sunday Riley. Uh, people really do like this CEO glow. Some people say it smells really, really strong and, and off-putting, and then others are okay with it. So it's one of those kinds of controversial fragrances. I was turned off to Sunday Riley when I first researched them, when they first showed up in the sale, because I learned, and, and it's over, it's over with, they don't do this anymore, but I learned that at some point between like 2004 15 and 2017 or something like that the um the ceo of sunday riley was having the employees falsify reviews give give good reviews for the products online and they were they were caught and i don't know how they rectified it but it just left a bad taste in my mouth with the company i just it totally turned me off which was surprising because i was so excited to see them start showing up in sales but anyway, that aside, I have seen good things said about this particular face oil. This eyeliner, the Laura Geller Kajal eyeliner, has decent reviews on Amazon. Uh, I don't know about this Laura Geller product. I have used some of her products lately and I've been pleasantly surprised. Mascaras, particularly. Just mascaras. I've used a couple of her mascaras and I really liked them. That's what they were. Black. This is an Australian company. I think this is the mask that like really hurts your face. Yeah. This is one of those masks that really hurts your face to peel it off. Dr. Brent. I talked about them already. I don't know. Um, Green Goo in general. I brought. I bought one of these. I brought a, bought a dry skin one. And I bought the belly balm. Oh no, no, the nursing one. And they have just sat in my in my drawer. I don't use them, and I <laughs> so I don't know. Some people love them, but I just for some reason I just don't use them. I don't know why. It's just never happened. Um, okay, let's see. I've talked about. Sponge gels, we talked about this, we talked about this. I have the makeup eraser from a box, I think it was, in pink, and they work, but you know, they're a microfiber towel, so they do work, but so I don't see why they would work any better than a washcloth or a, another microfiber towel that you could get, I don't know, at the dollar store or something. Um, people were talking about this on the forum saying that they really did like it, that it helped if you know had been doing a bunch of yard work or something and you needed that extra scrub on your hands. I have this and I have yet to use it, but this was in a past box is why I have it. But um, So people were talking about this and generally people were saying that they really, really liked it, especially for their sensitive skin uh, and their redness. Um, there were a couple people who said that it didn't really do much for them, but for the most part, the people who spoke up were speaking really highly of this. So I'm actually really excited to get it out and use it myself. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the me from 10 plus years ago would have been so excited to try this. Oh, I would have probably gotten to. Uh, not anymore. I'm old and boring. Well, I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm not that old, but I'm boring. <laughs> um, okay, so people are saying really good things about this. And I, if I remember correctly, it has pretty decent reviews on Sephora. I did, ooh, I did read a little bit about the brand and it's esca escaping me right now. Okay, it has four solid stars with 65 reviews on Sephora. Um... 
But see, I I remember, yeah, people were saying really, really good things about it. See, all of these are four and five stars star reviews. Here it oh, smells like creamsicle. Oh, this person says it left a sticky layer on their skin, but this is like the one three star review out of the rest being four and five stars. I don't do creamsicle. I don't know why it doesn't work for I don't like the scent in my lotions and whatnot, so right there that helps me decide that I don't want to try it uh so that's that's that I, I'm sorry it's escaping me though what I read about the brand the Vore hair care sunrise ritual signature duo I did try this and at first I really didn't like it and then I kept using it and by the end I thought they were fine I still don't recommend them I have dry curly hair and for me they just didn't seem to do anything and at first the smell was kind of off-putting I have a video where I did review these and I talked about them in further detail but they just didn't do much for my hair they weren't hydrating they my hair was tangly and didn't make it e they didn't make it easier to comb my hair they did nothing for my hair they didn't damage they didn't make my hair for hair feel worse I've used I've used shampoos and conditioners that actually had adverse effects on my hair but these just didn't they didn't do anything for me so I don't recommend them uh, they do have though <laughs> in their defense they do have a good solid four stars on Ulta and a lot of people do say really good things about it so definitely go check me on that I just am one of the people who just don't understand I don't they it just didn't work for me okay moving on um, I don't know oh I did look into this I love uh, liquid lipsticks and I do I am curious about trying more Jouer products um, but this one people they reviewed it and they said that it didn't last as long as you would have wanted it to it says last all day and that it didn't last through their first meal of the day so that would drive me bonkers and I just don't need more lip products I love lip products and therefore I have too many um, I have these slippers and I got them they were they showed up for the first time in a winter box two years ago maybe three years ago and I've been wearing mine every winter since and they're very warm they're very cozy uh, they have just started to fall apart on the toe right here where you know the bottom part starts to break away from the rest of the shoe so that's just started to happen after three winters so it held up pretty well for being, you know, cloth and knitted material and all of that. And for $19, that's a pretty good price too. I would say that I do recommend these. I, for reference, I wear a size seven and a half, sometimes an eight in flats and the small medium fit me perfectly. I would not purchase the medium large. They would be like clown shoes. So if you are an eight and you're wondering, I would go with the small medium. If you're eight and a half, I don't know, that might be bordering on the medium large, but I, um, <clears throat> I debated getting another pair since mine are starting to wear out, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll just explore a different kind of slipper and try something new. Um, ooh, Lucky Brand socks. I didn't notice these before. These are so cute. Uh, these are so cute. What the? Okay, well, I'm, I'll add those and decide on them later. You don't need to watch me marvel at those. I totally overlooked those before. Uh, so I really love Living Proof products. They work so well for me. I mentioned earlier. Um, I... They are owned by Unilever, so if you are trying to do the cruelty-free thing, Living Proof's cruelty-free, you know, Unilever is not. Go ahead and check reviews on the products of theirs that you want to try. Some people say their, their products don't work for them, so I'm, I'm a very specific person, but I think, I want to say that I feel like people with, like, limper, finer hair feel like their products don't work as well. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't done taken data and done all the research, but there are some people who don't like their products. Um this would be a great product if you're someone who wears like acrylics 
sometimes and then when you get them taken off and your nails can be kind of wrecked this would be a really good product for that or if even if you get gel sometimes and then after you get those off or that that polish off and your nails can be wrecked or if you if you just or you bite your nails if you just wreck your nails sometimes this would be a really good product to to uh, get to to help restore them i had this in my cart and i realized you know my my nails are fine i don't need something like this so i dumped it but if you're one of those people you should maybe think about that ahava is another one of those lines that is not cruelty free and i would swear just like the elemis we're going to cruelty free kitty and we're gonna plug in ahava i would swear oh it's not coming up right away i'm not sure what's happening here um they reorganized their site so i think that I may not just, I may just not be seeing it right away or doing something wrong because um, it should be here. But anyway, they're not cruelty free and I would have bet my life that they were and I really do like their products, but they're not cruelty free anymore. So I won't be getting anything from them, but their hand creams are good. I do, I've used this one. I have used this one and I like it. It's kind of a fresh scent. It's quite strong at first. You get used to it though. Um, and I do like the way their hand creams work. Well, this one, I, this is the one I've used. Um, but yeah, that was a bummer. I would, an LMS too. What the heck? So this is an LMS product though that I have used. They're not cruelty free any longer, but I loved using this. It, it smelled like you know how sometimes you smell a smell and it just it does something really like chemistry in your brain just goes off. It's like fireworks and you can just feel it and it makes you like happy and and I don't know. It's weird when you when you have a certain smell. Um, anyway, that is what happened to me when I would smell this. It smelled kind of like gingerbread. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. And it felt so nice it's a cream oil so that's exactly the right description to describe how it felt going on the skin and it just felt luxurious and wonderful to use and now i'll i have one actually in my closet i was thinking about giving my sister but now i'll uh oh, alamis why why did you do it um anyway so people are talking about this this was available i think in a box recently too and People are saying that they really like this. It's a facial shaver. People use it on their lip, etc. Um, yeah, people are saying they like it. Some people did say they were able to find something similar at TJ Maxx. You know, there's always a possibility you could find something similar to what's in the sales at TJ Maxx or Amazon even for cheaper. So definitely take a moment and check there. This is a really nice sleeping facial. I enjoyed it. There have been like two or three products that I've used over time that my husband has just finally said, is it possible that you could stop using that one? Like the smell just turns him off so much. And this is one of them and it makes sense because it's a sleeping facial. And so we're sleeping all night next to each other with something that's quite fragrant. I thought it smelled like a minty rose smell and I enjoyed it. And Honestly, when he asked me not to use it anymore, I think I gave it to my sister. I wasn't terribly bummed. And he asked me, I don't want anyone to think that my husband's controlling. He asked me if it was okay. He didn't tell me I couldn't. Um, I have had a comment once where somebody said, your husband sounds controlling. He's not. <laughs> I ask him not to do things. He asked me not to do things. We're in a marriage. We compromise. That's how it works. So anyway, um, so that's what happened with that. And I wanted to say that because the smell can turn people off, I've learned. Um, but it is a nice sleeping facial otherwise, if you're in interested in looking into one. And people are saying really, really good things about this. Carez is a Greek company. They were cruelty-free. I'd have to look it up again. I'm feeling kind of blindsided by Ahava and Elemis now not being cruelty-free anymore. But... Um, then the one thing though I have noticed is sometimes I have found formaldehyde releasers in their body lotions. So definitely take a look into their ingredients. I'm not seeing anything pop out at me right now. Um, that could be bad. It, maybe if you have sensitive skin, you want to, phenoxyethanol can be a skin irritant and so can fragrances. 
Um, otherwise, this is a, a highly regarded product. Uh, people really enjoy the Laundress products. So I've seen good things said about them. Um, I don't know. Even though I own this, I purchased it for some reason a few sales ago and I completely forgot and saw it the other day. I'll have to try it. Uh, so this is, is this hand cream again? Oh no, these are shower gels. I don't know anything about them. I don't know why I clicked on that. Okay, so we talked about this. I haven't used this Amika product, but I do like Amika. Um, I don't know. Oh, I have this in the original, what is it called? It's just their lip glossy. It doesn't say anything else. It's just their Capari lip glossy and it's, there's no color to it. This has a slight pink tint to it and I really like it. It's one of my favorite nighttime lip balms that I use to go to sleep in and wake up with my lips feeling soft. So I do like it. This one has a slight pink tint. I wouldn't wear it during the day. It is quite slippery and somewhat runny. Um, I wouldn't find it very comfortable during the day if it were me so I don't find a reason for it to be tinted but if I needed another one for sleeping in I would definitely get this uh, I oh I looked into reviews and I'm blanking anyway there were reviews I did find them but I like the um, Kula is made by Bear Republic I believe Nah, I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember. I'm going to stop talking. I am intrigued by this one, though. Um, oh, I used these, the Nelson J. Beverly Hills Coconut Shampoo and, Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, and they were fine. They were good, and it smelled like you were on a Hawaiian vacation. They smelled kind of, oh, well, it says coconut. I don't remember it saying coconut before. Um, they smell like that. That's what they smell like. And you feel like you're on a Hawaiian vacation and they don't do anything. Didn't, they didn't do anything notable to my hair, but they were good. They were, and they were fine to use. Um, oh, I looked into this and in case, I just want to point out that the jelly shampoo is an exfoliating jelly shampoo. It actually has physical exfoliators in it, which weirds me out. I can't use those. They just, I don't know what it is about it. It's like nails on a chalkboard for me. Some people really like it, but for me, it, it turns me off. But I was really curious about that because the conditioner is a cleansing conditioner, which is good for curly hair. So it's non-foaming. It's probably curly girl friendly. Um, probably I say, but cream conditioners, cleansing conditioners are, are good stuff for dry hair. Um, oh yeah. Hydrates, uh, curls, coils, and waves. I was going to say good stuff. I, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Case in point, but uh, the whole idea of the physical exfoliators and the shampoo turned me off and I dumped it. I don't need more shampoo and conditioner anyway. Okay. Oh, here's the Grown Alchemist Matte Balancing Moisturizer. I like Grown Alchemist a lot. Matte, if you have oily skin, you would want to get this moisturizer. I think that they have this in the refills, actually. Um, Grown Alchemist, a little bit about the brand, in case you don't know. They're an Australian company, clean, cruelty-free, and they are just growing. Mm, growing and growing. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm going to say a blanket statement, and I sound like a broken record, but I'm going to say a blanket statement about the jewelry. Uh, just, if you're interested in jewelry, just pay attention to what it's made of, you know. I it, what, it, what it bothers me is the retail price tags on things that are made out of these materials just don't add up to me and um, are almost... This one's all right, but sometimes it's just insulting. It'll say retails for like $180 and it's made of these materials and it's just not right. But anyway, that doesn't mean that it's not a decent piece of jewelry. You just have to take extra care of it and, you know, don't wear it in the shower or get lotion on it or things like that. But yeah, and then sometimes they will have jewelry that's available that's made of better materials. So just pay attention to that, um, especially if you have sensitive skin, if you're sensitive to metals. There's a Hava again. This does have fairly good reviews on Ulta. I'm so sad about a Hava and Elemis. Okay. 
Moving on. Um, I haven't used this yet. It's in my shower and I gave one to my sister-in-law also and it smells good. It's kind of sweet, a little bit fruity, but I haven't used it yet. So that's all I can say about that. Kate Somerville, I kind of wrote them off as purchasing them because they're owned by Unilever, although they're although they're cruelty free, they're owned by Unilever. So I didn't, I don't get them. I don't get products from them. So I don't, and I, ha I actually don't really see a lot of people talking about their products on the forum. So I don't have anything to say about their products in the sale. Um, here's the Design Me Blonde version of the dry shampoo that's in my cart. I have the brunette one. Uh, Wish, as a brand, they're great. They're clean. They're cruelty free. I don't know much. I don't know anything else about the exact products that are, avail that are available in the sale, though. Dr. Brandt. Uh, I looked this up and there, I looked it up on Amazon. I can't remember. I think it had kind of the standard mixed reviews for a natural deodorant. Oh, I do remember that people were saying that this stuff was weird, that it was grainy almost. And yeah, I didn't see good things said about this milk makeup lip glaze. I did not see good things said. So look into that. Um, Laundress people seem to really like their stuff. I've said short stories is a new fab new wish fab fit fun uh, in-house brand and Exociana is an in-house fab fit fun brand So on the retail prices, it's kind of like I don't know anyway <laughs> fab fit fun in-house brand Juice Beauty, I've always wanted to connect with them as a brand, as a clean, cruelty-free, I think vegan also, um, beauty line, but I just can't, I just haven't been able to connect with them, a lot of their products, they kind of remind me like of Milk Makeup when it comes to their reviews, just very mixed, some people love them, some people don't love them, so depends on the product, just, you really gotta watch out if you're gonna try one of their products. Beekman 1802. So I, I don't know anything about their products that are in the sale as far as personally using them. They do have reviews of their products available online. This is a company, a brand that was started by a couple in New York who both, they both lost their jobs in the 2008 crash. One was a geriatrician who's a doctor and the other was a publicist or something I, I can't remember quite the other one and they they lost their jobs and they moved to their home in upstate New York and which was uh, on a farm and they started playing with um, making skincare um, with goat milk yeah goat milk it says it right here um, and thus their their beauty line was born and their things are available at let's see was it Ulta and, you know, I do all the, yeah, here we go. Oh, this one looks like it has really good reviews. Four and a half stars. Yeah, so their, their products are available on Ulta if you want to read um, reviews about their stuff. And you'd be supporting um, a clean company. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's move on. I don't know about those things. Oh, I don't know about this. Um, uh, oh, so blue light blockers. I love them. I love blue light blockers. These are really cute. One thing I want to say about these is that uh, check Amazon, see if you can find some for cheaper. You might even be able to find like a two pack for 15 bucks. Uh, the ones I'm wearing right now came from a two pack that my husband bought me for Christmas. I love wearing these. I have raved about them on my channel before, but I feel like when I wear them, I am less headachy in general. And I feel like if I'm looking at my computer at night, I am much less likely to get hypnotized by the screen and get sleepy. And I I'm able to stop looking at my computer and go to sleep at a reasonable hour as opposed to when I'm not wearing them. Somehow it is one in the morning and I don't know what happened. So that is really great. I do recommend blue light block blockers for your eyes. Uh, the 
fat by boy products in general it's a little bit hard to find a lot of really reliable reviews on their products uh, what i did learn about the brand though is they were started by someone who is a former musician in a band and he decided to start he was cooking his own hair products before shows or something like that and he decided to start um making a hair care line there's this living proof stuff i love living proof um, okay, let's see, Teamy is a brand that was started by a woman who was having gut issues and she started trying to figure out, um, ways to help with that and they started with teas, a uh, loose leaf tea and she's branched out into skincare. I don't see a lot of reviews on their, their skincare products. Christoph Robin, all of his stuff, you can find reviews on Sephora. So if you're looking at a particular product of his, it's there. You can find detailed reviews. Uh, he started off as a colorist. He specialized, no, he's, yeah, he started off for, he specializes in coloring hair, hair coloring. So if you color your hair, you might want to um, look into his products. Here's the Hava Sea Kiss Mineral Hand Cream. I do see people generally preferring this scent over the water scent. Uh, I haven't tried this scent though. Skin & Co. is a brand. Uh, they are in Italy. Umbra, the hills of Umbra, Italy is what their website says. So made in Italy. Their stuff is all over Ulta and for the most part their truffle therapy line which is what this is. I don't know why it doesn't say it here but it says it on the bottle. Um, for the most part a lot of their stuff in the truffle therapy line has good reviews. I have a few of the truffle therapy products and I haven't gotten to them yet so I can't say from personal experience but that's what I know and that's why I have a couple of their products, the products from that line. The Kanuka CBD Nourishing Body Cream. I looked into this. This is available on Ulta. The Kanuka products are, they're named Kanuka because they combine cannabis with Manuka honey. So two very good ingredients for us. And um, uh, the cannabis is not psychoactive. It's not weed. Uh, it's derived from the marijuana plant, sure. But uh, anyway, uh, the reviews on this were mixed. Some people really like it, but there were a lot of complaints about the consistency and it being really, really difficult to rub in that it was very thick. So I went ahead and dumped it from my cart. I was thinking about getting it. Uh, so that's what I learned there. Um, Sinaj. This is a brand that I rarely see anything about except for in one sale last year. They had a kit available. It was like 19 bucks, and you got four of their products. And for some reason, people were going crazy over it in the forum. And of course, I had to play the refresh game to try to snag one myself, and I got it. And I I used a moisturizer, and I used it up. There was a moisturizer in that, in that kit, in that bundle. It was a bundle. And I used it up, and it was fine. It smelled a little like creamsicle, but it was good. It was a rich moisturizer, and I, I did like it. And then there were three other products in it. I tried one. It was a face mask, and it made my face red after I used it. Um, and then the other products that I tried, there were two others, and I was just unimpressed. So I don't know what happened that sale where some, for some reason people were actually speaking up and saying that their stuff was great. I'm not saying their stuff is bad. That was my personal experience. I was fairly unimpressed and I just don't feel any need to try any more of their stuff. They are made in the USA. From what I remember, they were clean and cruelty free. And you know, people on their about page, they can say whatever they want. So they can say they use the cleanest uh, ingredients and they take the utmost care in making sure that they use the best ones, but you know, what's really going on? Who knows? Um, that's my chenissonage spiel. Okay, here we go. Moving on. This is cute. This is the same brand that has, well, there's something available. Oh, it's the um, mesh uh, grocery bag available in the box. That's the same brand as this. They have a really interesting angle with their company and it's kind of this vintage, literally like summer camp, like 
like the camp that you would imagine in like Friday the 13th where it's like it's like 1970s summer camp and everyone's wearing the vintage clothes and whatnot so that's their angle they're um, a San Francisco based company and interesting made in China though uh, and it's just a really really, really specific ang angle that they're using but this is a this is a cool cooler <laughs> I didn't mean to say that <laughs> it was a cool cooler okay so grown alchemist purifying body exfoliant i have used this and i was very unimpressed i don't recommend it it was um let's see the smell was like a muted peppermint smell to me that's what i smelled i remember somebody saying it like a while ago seeing somebody say that it smelled like mothballs that was one person nobody seconded her but it was funny anyway and then it just it didn't have a lot of exfoliating beads, at least not as many as I would like. Like you would, you would feel in a salt scrub that's like very exfoliating. Um, they felt more, uh, less dense with exfoliating beads, and they were very pearl-like, uh, which is interesting. It's, it's called pearl peppermint elong elong is the description. So they were very pearl-like. They were sparser than I like, and it just didn't feel as ex ex as good and exfoliating as I would have wanted it to. So I, I would say that you could definitely pass on those. Uh, here's more Beekman 1802. Their products, Ulta, check Ulta for reviews on their products. They seem to be a loved company. Um, I am curious about, I mentioned loving the scent Jasmine. So I was curious about this, but I went ahead and axed it because this is another blanket statement that I'm going to make when it comes to perfumes or products in these sales that are specifically for scent. I pass because you just don't know if you'll really like it. And that's like, that's a lot writing on that because it's all about scent with perfume, right? So, um, you know, you can get a moisturizer where the scent kind of annoys you, but the moisturizer is really good. So at least there's that and you can still use it. But anyway, um, more Beekman 1802. Oh, I didn't look into this Becca thing. I didn't look into this Juice Beauty thing. Okay. Uh, Stila. I have seen mixed reviews on these. I think generally it has pretty good reviews. There are liquid eyeshadows. The thing I remember, though, is that some people did say it could get a little bit clumpy, but here on Influencer, let's see, it looks like it has uh, decent reviews, over four stars for sure. Yeah, four and a half stars. I love checking Influencer for reviews because no one is trying to sway anyone one way or the other on Influencer. Uh, it's people, influencers try to just get you to write reviews in general, but no one's trying to sway either unbiased reviews is my point. Per Cosmetics, clean, cruelty-free. Grown. Oh, I have used this Grown Alchemist product, and it. I have dry skin. I found it to be a little bit too drying for my skin, but I have very dry skin, so um, I would have liked it to have been a little bit gentler. Uh, I didn't really enjoy using it either. I remember using it to use it up. It was. It didn't impress me. I, I remember thinking this is definitely something I would not repurchase, and I kind of wish I didn't purchase it. That said, I see a lot of people saying really great things about it on the forum. Um, it says gentle gel facial cleanser. I felt like it could have been gentler. Again, very dry skin. Algenist, not cruelty free. I remember a sale a couple sales ago seeing on Sephora that Sephora said they were and it may or may not still say that um, but you go to their website and you go to their FAQ and it, you can see that they're not cruelty free um, they do get a lot of their products do have very good reviews and they have a proprietary um, ingredient I think it is where it's it's uh, something derived from algae and that's why algenist hence the name of their of their brand um, but generally people say good things about their products they are available on Sephora so that's where you can go check on detailed reviews if you're looking at one of their products let's see I don't do self tanner I've seen people say good things about mine tan I don't know 
Oh, here's the nursing comfort one that I purchased. I haven't used it. If you're interested in doing a trade, let me know. Um, let's see. If you're into yoga, I do recommend having yoga blocks. If you do yoga at home, I need to get into it. But they're a really good accessory for doing yoga. Um, okay. Earth Harbor is a company that is founded by a woman who has her master's in public health. She says she's an herbalist. You can't find a lot of reviews on the products in general. Um, the aesthetic is gorgeous. I, I think that it's a fairly if new, if not brand new line. Um, she, she did start, you know, cooking her own skincare in her treehouse kitchen, she described it. And she said she started doing it after getting in a near fatal car accident. Um, and then learning that she was pregnant. So it's a really, really interesting story. Um, she got her master's in public health where she studied I'm, I'm trying to bring the bring it to life but she studied um she went around studying toxins in our environment and this is her toxicologist a certified health toxicologist and herbalist so you know she seems like she could really know what she's doing but i'm also a little bit skeptical Anyway, that's about her, and from uh, what I said, I, I believe I am remembering correctly. Let's look at our founder. Yeah, this is her, a humanitarian engineer. She specialized in global, uh, environmental health and tox toxicology, traveled the world researching how many toxins we are exposed to daily. So that is really, really um, a good way to, a good foundation for what she ended up doing. Yes, yeah, she was in a near-fatal car accident. Recovery was slow and painful. Um, she thought she would never be her pre-accident self. And then she found out she was pregnant with her miracle baby boy. Um, and then this is the culmination that had her knew, know that she was going to start clean living. Um, take it, taking clean living to the next level. Anyway, I, I thought that was a little bit interesting. But you can't... I couldn't really find a lot of reviews about all of the products themselves, but I'm curious to try. I do have one of the products from a Tribe Beauty box, box that I should go ahead and get out and start trying. There is Coach stuff available in the sale. Again, check check materials. Brass. See, this is this is an instance where I'm kind of like, really? Brass? <laughs> it should be made of like sterling silver at least, but... Um, you know, Coach is an awesome brand, but this every high-end brand has a diffusion line, or not every single one. A lot of them have a diffusion line where, you know, they'll make their high-quality stuff for Nordstrom, and then they'll make their lower-quality stuff for TJ Maxx. Um, so that's just a little a bit of a spiel there. Uh, oh, I don't remember what I saw. I think I saw mixed reviews on this uh this, uh, I can't, I can't remember. So I'm going to stop talking now on that. Not in general, both of their, both of these sets, the IGK hair shampoo and conditioner sets. I can't remember what I learned. Darn it. Oh, but these roller balls feel so good and you can find them for like $6.99 at TJ Maxx. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend 12 bucks on it, but they feel so good. I talked about teeny already. Um, oh, here's more coach. These are pretty. Oh, now here we are talking. This is a sterling silver post. Oh, brass. But the post is sterling silver, at least. They know they need to get that right when it comes to an earring. Oh, that just bothers me. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is in the 
I think this is in the refill program. This is Dr. Brandt. I do remember a lot of people saying really good things about this moisturizer when it first was in sales and in the box. Um, nobody really talks about it anymore, but I do remember good things said about that. I was really curious. So I just talked about all about all about Earth, Earth Harbor as a brand. I'm really curious about uh, not this one, a different one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very similar. I'll get, I'll talk about the one that I was going, that I thought that was when I get to it. Um, I talked about Christoph Robin. Let's see. What else do I know? Oh, here's the Volition Strawberry Sea Brightening Serum. Hiram really, really recommends this. I will try to remember to link the video in the description box below. If you find that I didn't, it's tough to remember every single thing like that that I promise in, in videos of this length. So definitely bring it to my attention and I will add it, but I will try to relink that video in the description box. This is um, highly recommended by him and then by some people on the Sephora site. It has about, I think it's just under four stars. This is one of those serums where this is really appealing to me. I just, I have never had a vitamin C serum actually work. That's why I'm drawn to the other one that it just seems like it's a different angle. Like this, this has a different angle to being a strawberry C serum, but the one that I have in my cart has a much different angle and it's um, a luxury brand brand. So that also makes me feel kind of posh and it's only $7 more if you're going to spend 17 and anyway. 24 isn't that much more if you really, if, and I really feel like it could be a lot better, blah, blah, blah. So I did see though on the reviews that some people thought the smell was a little funny. I'm, I'm not sure why, and that could have just been like here and there bad batches. There were, there were some reviews though where people had really bad experiences. Definitely check the reviews on Sephora on this, but it, it is highly recommended. By a lot of people. This is something that a lot of people in the reviews on Sephora say is very, very oily and greasy. There are some people though that say that they have a makeup routine down where this works really well in conjunction with the other products that they use, but a lot of the people that were just using this on its own or maybe weren't as careful with what they were doing said this was really greasy, it never absorbed, and I kind of would pro I think that I would probably fall into that group of people, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get this, but some people are really able to make it work for them. Um, Lifestyle Co. is an LA-based line of products. They're cruelty-free and clean. I really like the aesthetic of theirs, and I remember when they first showed up in sales, I really connected with it. I haven't looked into them much recently. I, want, I wonder if they've grown much, but I have tried their cleansing oil, and I really, really like it. I actually had repurchased it, and I'm on my second bottle, so I liked that, and I just, I, I get a good feeling from the brand. Oh, here's another ultimate DIY home facial from Sonage. Let's see. What's even in here? Okay, so I had gotten the Gommage Exfoliating Gel, which I couldn't really figure out. This souffle cream would be good if you have oilier skin. Um, and then now those are the, that's, those are the only two things in here I know anything about of theirs. Okay. So Gabba Goods, some people have really good experiences with their products. I'm going to take up, say, a blanket statement, just like I said about jewelry. If you're looking at electronics, I have seen people get into kind of nightmare situations with exchanges, with FabFitFun, and things not working, and being cheap quality. I'm not saying that that's always the case, but just, you know... Be forewarned that that's a possibility when you get things like electronics that won't work, um, and you want and you want to exchange it. If you got a broken product and you contacted customer service and you proved that it was broken, I can't imagine it would be all that hard to get a credit. But if you actually wanted a replacement product, I've seen people get into kind of annoying situations. And also, when it comes to electronics, you can 
look on Amazon or wherever else where you might just have a more easy, uh, a smoother time replacing things. That's my blanket electronic statement. Canesco, the one thing that sticks out about this that I remember from researching when they showed up in sales before was that it's founded by a woman who's a Reiki master and she uh, does Reiki on every single one of her products before they go out. And you know what? She better at the prices that her products are priced at. <laughs> Uh, that's the one thing I remember. Other than that, I don't, I remember just not being drawn to the products that they make. Um, I do recommend blow dryer brushes, but I don't think you need to spend this much. I mean, you can get the Revlon one that you see everywhere. I think I got mine for like 35 on super sale or something. And I think you can get it just on Amazon for like 45 or 50. Um, you know, this one could be better quality, but I've never heard of this brand. That I don't know everything, you know, but I would say you could save a few bucks and probably be just as satisfied with the Revlon one. Uh, so definitely check out bundles if you think that you want at least all but one of the items available in the bundle. It might be worth it for you to grab the bundle instead of buying the two things separately. So if you wanted the hand cream and the nail lacquer, uh, you might as well get the bundle because it's probably not any more expensive or only a few bucks more to get the third thing that's in the bundle. Okay, Pure, I have an eyeshadow palette of theirs that I do like. Um, obviously, I haven't used that one. Say Beauty, I think is how you say this. <laughs> um, say. I could, there, I, there aren't a lot of reviews specifically on the products. This is a newer company, woman-owned. It's one of those women who, like, you know, set out to change the way beauty is done by making it easy and clean and you read so many about pages where it says that uh anyway so this woman she grew up between paris and california i think and she started her own beauty line never really bonded with a rodeal brand i don't know much about them r and co i don't know anything about this particular shampoo and conditioner set this is their one for colored hair i use their moisturizing one and i think it actually dried out my hair it was terrible um oh okay so this has bad reviews on sephora kaja is a fun brand in general but people said that the packaging was kind of cheap cheapy and that the product like You'd put it on and you could barely see it. And then the people who said they could see it said that this actually had like literal glitter in it. It didn't make them glow like they thought, but they saw actual literal, literal like glittery specks in it and that they didn't like that. Um, that's what I remember from the reviews, but definitely not good reviews on that on the on Sephora. Oh, I meant to look in more into this and I don't rem I didn't. Darn it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I would, I was compelled to do it now, but I don't want this video to be very, very long. Um, more pure cosmetics. I do like them as a brand. I don't know about that product. This I looked into a little bit. People were curious about it on the forum and it is a specifically a design for pubic hair. I think what the idea here is, is that it's designed to help if you get like red bumps when you shave. Um, it features a signature blend of lightweight oils to soften hair and clear pores for fewer ingrowns and healthier skin. So I think that that's actually what they're going for with this. And if you do, if you do have issues with that, that could be something you might be interested in. Um, I don't know. This was in a past box and it's still sitting in my stash. The Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Refining Serum. Oh, three ships. This one's kind of interesting. So this is Canadian. Yes, Canadian. And this is founded by a couple of friends, two young women, and they started this company again. Another couple of women who wanted to make, you know, the beauty line that was easy to understand and accessible. But their, um, their particular angle is they want to make something that is 
uh, has high quality ingredients, but doesn't break the bank. So that kind of reminds me of the concept behind May Love. Um, so they vowed to make products that will never be more than $40. So I think that that's really cool. I do like how simple this is. Uh, DP Hue. I don't know anything about that. Okay, this is the Grown Alchemist Deep Cleansing Facial Mask. This is one of the best mud masks I have ever used. I thought it was great. I actually didn't realize it was a mud mask um, until I used it, but it is essentially a mud mask, and my skin felt great after using it. It was so enjoyable to use. It smelled herbal and botanical and just spa like and i just love that kind of scent where you feel like you're in an expensive massage parlor parlor and you can smell the expensive oils i would say though that it definitely does not last much past the 12 month period after opening it's still fine i still have mine and it's been like two years and i can still use it but it is not anywhere near as luxurious to use as it was when it, i first opened it so if you get it try to use it within the year. Um, I don't know. Here's more Vore. This one could be good. I didn't like their shampoo and conditioner, but their other products could be just fine. Sigma brushes. I did have all the Sigma brushes in my cart, but I really just don't need them. So I took them out. Um, although I don't, I do have a brush like this, I think. Anyway, people really like their brushes. Okay, Paracone MD. If you watched my box customizations video, I kind of um, dragged Paracone MD through the mud. <laughs> Excuse me. So there was this doctor on, uh, okay, Beautypedia said some really bad things about Paracone MD. And then they referenced this website called Quack Watch. And Quack Watch is a website that is run by a retired physician. And he, this is another link. I'll try to remember put, to put it in the description box. If I forget, please point it out and I will add it. Um, so this guy pretty much debunks Paracone. So the Dr. Paracone, he had a really successful PBS appearance where his for some reason, it was like the tipping point for him and his line of products just took off. And a lot of doctors say that his products are no good and he doesn't really, really know what he's doing. For From this guy's perspective, Dr. Paracone is someone who was... Um, an assistant clinical professor at dermatolo of dermatology at Yale University School of Me Medicine. And it's an unpaid position in which he supervised students from time to time. So he had an affiliated position, basically. And that ended in 2002 when his contract was not renewed. Um, uh, so you just got to read this article. And then and they go on to talk about how he doesn't have a lot of peer-reviewed articles, that he uh, maybe had six he his name was brought up in six citations of which only two appeared to be original research both on topical glycolic acid so he hasn't done much research into skincare and he hasn't done much research at all um but for some reason this pps special just worked for him and and he took off and here is a whole section on questionable unverifiable and erroneous statements of his he they just really yeah so i in this i this this really soured me from ever ever trying anything from this guy so there are other resources you can find and you know i taught when i talked about this in my other video someone commented saying that their dermatologist says that his products are a waste of money they're overpriced and yeah so I'll stop there. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what's next. More Jouer. I really do want to try some Jouer stuff. I just don't need to right now. Oh, Larkin Ives. I remember looking them up for another product once upon a time. It's, I can't remember offhand. I'm, I'm not going to go trying to find it right now. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, that was more Paracone. Okay. Um, I 
I already talked about all this. So yeah, if I run through it, it's either, like I said, because I don't know anything or I already talked about the company and I don't know anything about that particular product. Oh, Dr. Kirkland, this guy's a chiropractor. <clears throat> he was an athlete and he had a stress fracture. He went to an orthopedist, orthopedic surgeon who said he couldn't do anything for him. Then he got referred to a chiropractor who was able to discover the stress fracture and help him get better. And then he became impressed with the chiropractor so much that he became a chiropractor himself. And then in his practice, I think it's Canadian too. No, USA. Okay. And in his practice, he started to get asked by patients about CBD and he did a lot of research into it to be able to help them and answer them. And he became so fascinated by it as something that can be helpful to us in numerous ways that he started making products using CBD. And that's his story. I haven't, I don't know anything about that particular product other than that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, Sacha Wan. I don't know anything about this product, but I do know that they are a Swiss, Sweden. Yes. Yeah, uh, Sweden, Swedish, Swedish, Swedish company, uh, two guys made a salon, made salon line, and I think a salon, and one's named Sacha, and one, one is named Juan, so they combine, combine their names, and that's how you get Sacha Juan. I talked about Kate Somerville, I talked about Algenist, um, Ohi is a brand that's found, like, in Urban Outfitters, so, and I couldn't really find any solid reviews on this. You, I think you can on the Urban Outfitters site. Um, but I just wasn't terribly uh, impressed. I didn't feel like I needed to get anything from them for the, from this sale. I, let's see. Oh, no, I, I don't have this. Intensive body exfoliant. No, I don't have this from Crown Alchemist. So let's close that and move on. Oh, I didn't look this Kaja product up. I have one of these Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Lip Duo. I don't know why it's called 4-in-1. I guess because you can use them on their own and then together. That's three. I don't know why it's 4-in-1. Where it four ways. Uses a lip stain, a high-impact liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, or as a daily lip oil treatment. Okay, uh, that's exactly how I would describe it actually. And I prefer it with the lip stain. Once you put the oil over it, it is no longer long lasting. It just becomes like a, which makes sense, right? You put oil over a liquid lip and then that's how you get it off. This is a pretty color. As a liquid lip, it does it is a drying formula i love liquid lips i don't really mind that they feel drying so it's fine with me but it does feel a little bit drying um otherwise it's quite nice and if you like the idea of that kind of combo i liked i liked it i like mine i'm, I'm kind of glad to see it here because it reminds me that i have it and i'm gonna get mine out and and wear it some more okay Oh, darn. I looked into this company, too, when I don't remember offhand. And if I don't remember, actually, it really means they didn't impress me. Oh, here is the Earth Harbor thing that I wanted to talk about. So this is C-retinol. And I am nursing, and my husband and I are already trying to have another baby because I am no spring chicken, and we need to... I'm 38, so once you start getting toward 40, it can become a lot harder to have children. So that's why, if you have been following me, you know I only have an 8-month-old. But we want to make sure that we make a family before we potentially can't. So I am not able to use retinol, and I love retinol. And this is a... A botanical that acts like retinol so I read on their website that it is okay if you're nursing or pregnant so I was really really intrigued by this I couldn't find reviews though so I went ahead and dumped it um, and that's all <laughs> uh, more Earth Harbor let's see oh as I was looking into this this 
I wasn't really terribly impressed by this deodorant in particular, but I was impressed by the Earth Mama brand and their website, probably because, like I just said, I'm nursing and we're trying to have another baby. Um, the whole website is just dedicated to pregnant women. All of their products, if you're looking for things that are safe for you and you can feel confident knowing that they are, they have deodorants, lotions, baby stuff. They also have the section where if you need to make a birth plan for yourself, it has kind of like an outline. Of course, you have to give them your email address and then they're going to start emailing you, but they have like a checklist if you want to create a birth plan. Um, so anyway, it was just, it was a really fun website to explore. So whether or not you're going to get this deodorant, if you are a mother, a new mother, you're looking to start a family, whatever, I would suggest checking out their website. It was fun. I liked looking at it more Christoph Robin. Um, oh, this Ren clean skincare. So I haven't tried anything by them. They are clean, clean ingredients. So they stay cruelty free, all of that stuff. This did not have good reviews on Sephora, but if you actually read the reviews, they were kind of, the star rating was messed up because there were a lot of people for, with dry skin who were saying that it wrecked their skin and perhaps those people didn't know that you shouldn't purchase something that's mattifying if you have dry skin. So if you're looking into this and you have oily skin, it could still be something for you. I just wanted to point out, like, don't look at the star rating on Sephora and then move on right away. Do look at the reviews because it could work for you if you have oily skin. Um, oh. I don't know. Uh, this looked really pretty. Not a lot of reviews outside of the Say website. Oh, Ernal Laszlo, really interesting guy. I talked about him a lot in my uh, box customizations video. I do highly recommend looking at it as about page on his website or looking at that video of mine to learn more. I People do say good things about this mask. It does smell like roses according to some of the reviews. Um, not very strongly, I don't think, but I don't, I, I'm picky about rose scents. Otherwise, it did have good ratings on Sephora. Mud Masky is a Dutch company. Um, they, I think they have like one hit product and they're making different, more different products. Um, I don't see a lot of reviews on the stuff they have available though, enough to make me feel confident in purchasing any other things. More Paracone, Sensuals in general, people are saying good things about this product. Oh, I'm remembering it's coming back to me. The About page says that it's founded by a woman whose husband was diagnosed with cancer. And it was through that that she started learning about all the crap that's in our everyday products. And she wanted to make a line of products that was uh, non-toxic. Hey, honey. I like Hey Honey. They use propolis in a lot of their products. This moisturizer has great reviews. The three products that are available in this sale are all on Ulta and have a lot of reviews. So I would suggest looking. Um, if you're vegan, not for you. Propolis comes from bees. What propolis is, is it's like it's like a bee glue. It's what you they get when they mix their saliva with tree sap. And it's, so it's like this sticky substance and I imagine they use it to like build their hives and whatnot. Here's more Sigma brushes. I talked about that. Um, I've heard hit and miss things about the silo or silo, however you say it, electronics, but I already gave you my kind of electronics spiel. I talked about Algenist. I talked about Paracone. Um... The new co is kind of like a fancy vitamin and supplement company. One thing I do remember reading on there about was that, uh, that, that stuck out to me was that they said, try fixing yourself through proper diet. If that doesn't work, then take our vitamins and our supplements, which I thought was a really good thing to see. I really liked that they said that. Um, uh, 
oh, is this the one that I have? Yes, I have this one. I have this intensive body cream. I found it at TJ Maxx and this is great as a body cream. Their lotions are great. I just say watch out for what it could smell like. This says on it, Rosa Domicena Acai and Pomegranate. So you would think it would smell like rose and berry, but it does not. There is sandalwood oil in it, and that is what it smells like primarily to me. I like it. I like musky scents, but I just want to point that out. It's a good lotion, and it smells musky. Almost spicy, actually. Um... Okay, let's see. Oh, here's the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Day Cream. So they rebranded this, I think. You can find the original Truffle Therapy Cream on Ulta, but the, the day cream and the night cream that's available on the sale, I think they're new formulations, so I couldn't find a lot of reviews on the new formulations. But you can check out the original formulation. It has reviews on Ulta if you're curious about those. Hair tools in general, That's an, this is another thing like electronics. I would just say if you want a good hair tool, look into it. If you absolutely can't find reviews on the particular brand, this might not be the place to get it. I did get my straightener on, on FabFitFun. It was a new me straightener. I was able to find a lot of reviews on it, so I felt comfortable with it. But just, you know, if you aren't sure, I would say don't gamble. I'm not a gambler though. So if you're a gambler, then go ahead and gamble. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I looked into this one and I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, okay. Here's more of that Reiki lady stuff. <laughs> okay here's the other skin and co dream cream and then here this skin and co truffle therapy serum also has pretty good reviews like i said the whole truffle therapy line seems to have pretty good reviews holy frog this is a brand i read their whole about page so um they are let's see the shortest thing to say is they're focused on face washes basically i do want to point out about this particular product it is a powder wash it's an actual powder so it's one of those products where you put the powder in your hand and then you mix water with it and you can make it as thick or thin as you want I haven't gotten the hang of those kinds of products, so it's a no-go for me, but I just, I could have easily overlooked that. Even though it says powder wash, I could have overlooked that. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I didn't overlook it, but yeah, water-activated powder, powder, so maybe it's not as easily overlooked as I was thinking anyway. Cali Cosmetics, they're the same people that make the Taraco products. They are based in Sicily. That's what I, that's all I got there. Uoma is a black owned beauty brand. That's all I have there. Friends Skincare was founded by um, a man who, when his mother was dying, he helped her with her skincare routine and he saw how happy she got and he wanted to bring that kind of happiness to other women and then he oh he bases his he bases his science on um oh now I'm blanking that's all I got it was a good story though on their about page No. Oh, this um, this is like the only product this company makes, and this is a very small little bar. You can find a picture. It's probably like two inches by two inches by two inches. Oh, hey, I wasn't far off. I was exactly on point, actually. And you can either rub it directly on your face or, you know, rub some off under your fingers and put it on your face. Um, that's the only product that they make. That's all. That's it's just, I, I found that to be interesting. Okay. Lara Devgan. 
Her products are high priced, highly rated. She is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon who lives in Manhattan with her husband and her six children. So that kind of makes me think that that's why everything is so expensive because that is an expensive life to live. Um, but regardless of the fact that they're uh, really high priced, people really like her products. Um, I saved for a couple of reviews out there that I saw where people said that they that she didn't do a good surgery on them or something. Um, they weren't satisfied with their results. In general, she's got great reviews on her products. The prices are crazy. Uh, there's another product of hers in here. I think the retail is like $250. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a whole Paracone bundle. <sighs> oh, this brand uses not CBD, but CBG. Let me just make sure I'm saying the right thing. Um, yeah, CBG, which is a different derivative of hemp, and it's a cannabinoid, um, helps reduce blemish-causing bacteria in your skin. So that's their, that's their angle. They have, they use CBG, cannabigerol, and specifically it, it helps reduce blemish-causing bacteria. They, they go into it though on their website, um, talking about how it works and you can, they, they provide a lot of information. Flight mode skincare is specifically, their ankle is, you know, skincare at high altitudes. So when you're flying, but they do say on their website that you can use their stuff outside of being in flight. But anyway, and they're, they're also owned by the Black Group, which owns Generation Clay and Generation Skin and Black. Um, and then they own flight mode and they are Australian, right? Australian, yeah. That's what I got there. This, so I am a tough client when it comes to brightening serums. That's why I'm so intrigued by that one that's in my cart, the C, the vitamin C one. But um, this did nothing for me. Zero. Zip. Nothing. The Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum. Kelly Cosmetics. I talked about them. Uh, Elemental Herbology, I went to their website. They are based on using Chinese medicine and Chinese practices to come up with their products. The one thing, it rubbed me the wrong way. They had a, so it's based on the elements, right? Fire, earth, water, whatever the rest are. And you can take a quiz to determine which one you are. And I took the quiz and I said I had dry skin in one of the questions. And then it came out that I was fire and that this was my perfect product because my skin can sometimes be oily. So that just automatically was like, what? You're not even listening to me. Um, so I, I kind of turned around and walked away, so to speak. The PMD Clean, people seem to really love theirs. I mean, this is what kind of set Cosbox in motion. They had this in a box, and now Cosbox is really riding that wave by having the $25 welcome boxes available with that in it. So if you want one, you can do go that route and get Cosbox, but I think the catch is you have to sign up for a year. Um, Campo, this is another brand uh, that is for mother's hydration belly oil um okay this run clean skincare product has good reviews on sephora perfect canvas clean primer oh the psalm institute i was really i was really drawn to them a couple of sales ago i can't remember exactly why offhand we are paradox they are a uk i think ireland uh, it says UK here. I think they might be based in Ireland specifically, though. Um, I haven't used this particular product, but I really like them because they're all about not using plastic. You can see this is aluminum. Uh, so that's really nice. Hey Honey, this is the lowest rated Hey Honey product in the sale. Again, look at Ulta. This video is going to be ridiculously long. 
Um, <laughs> okay, now we're getting into a lot of gadgets. Blythe, this is a K-Beauty brand. I think when they came out a while ago, they had, um, they had a lot of hype, and they don't really get talked about so much anymore. Um, let's see. I was intrigued by this because I have an eight-month-old. This is in Danish, yeah, Denmark, Danish brand. Um, but I don't need it. Oh, this is, uh, oh gosh, it's K-Beauty. Mmm, I read all about this one too and it's escaping me. Okay, this bag was in, I think, the fall box. And this is a department store brand. I have this. Oops. I have this. I haven't used it yet simply because I'm quarantining and not going anywhere. But it looks like a good weekender bag. And it seems like decent quality. I don't understand the $128 price tag. But it's okay. It's fine. Um... This is the Stace face that's on the zipper pull for the duffel bag that's available in the box. Um, basically, it's their logo, and it's based on the owner of the company. And this is looks like an overpriced compact mirror. You can find one like this. Not as cute because it doesn't have the Stace face, but you can find one like this on Amazon for cheaper. Okay. I don't really get a lot of these like gadgets and I don't have pets so I don't get pet stuff so I'm at a part where I'm just kind of skipping by a lot. I talked about this brand already, the High Beauty. People like African Botanic stuff. I don't have any experience with them. People, okay, so there's not a lot of uh, reviews I can find about the Ceramide stuff online. One person did comment in a past video that I did that they have used something from them that they really, really liked. Here's the Espa brand again that I feel like has exploded and suddenly has a lot of amazing reviews on a lot of their products. Course and Beauty. This is this is a brand founded by two sisters not too long ago, with the same whole shtick of you know they set out to create a line that's organic and and has clean ingredients and stuff. It's kind of sad that that whole story has become like kind of boring when that's what I want to see, but I feel like I see it so often. But it's a good thing. It is a good thing, and we want to support that. Um, here's more of the good habit. This is the blue light blocking company or the company that says that they are specifically helping with blue light protection. Um, more flight mode. Here's the Laura Devgan, Laura, Laura Devgan thing, $245. It has great reviews, really good reviews. <laughs> I talked about her, um, Anyway, uh, Kosas, they make some good products. Oh, this is a good brand I'm remembering. So the woman was, uh, she emigrated from Iran to London when she was a kid, when it, the Ar Iranian Revolution, oh gosh, I feel so ignorant right now. I think that's what it was called, um, happened with her family. They left and she started this brand and... I was really I was really drawn to their story. I do recommend looking into this uh brand if you if you're looking at anything by this brand, I was drawn to it. I I would try something from them from them definitely at some point in the future. I don't need things. I don't need anything. So I'm I'm hoping I can bring myself to just dump my entire cart. There's more of the Fran skincare I started talking about earlier. More Espa. Oh, this is a cute dress. Very simple. Oh my gosh, my mom bod. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't think I could look cute in that right now. I'm sure I would look fine, <laughs> but 
let's see. Oh, Matricence. This is another one that I was really enjoying reading the site. Uh, Matricence means the process of becoming a mother. Um, it's found by um, Black Indigenous People of Color Founded. That's what that stands for. I looked it up. Uh, I really enjoyed the reading this. It's geared toward mothers. Um, okay, more gadgets, clothes. I can make a blanket statement about clothes too for myself. I just rather try them on. Um, then order something that doesn't fit right and then get into kind of a back and forth with Fab Fit Fun and not be able to get whatever the issue is rectified. People, I see a lot of complaints when it comes to that. And that aside, people do say that they have good experiences with the clothes from Fab Fit Fun. So if you're eyeing something, um, it seems like your chances of it working out are pretty good. If you feel confident that it's something that's going to work on you, on your body, then it seems like, like I said, you have a good chance of it working out. Looks like we might be coming down to the end. So you can see that I really look into the beauty products and then there are certain types of things in the sales that I just gloss over. Like I don't talk about rugs or lamps. It's just not something that I would think to get here. I'd rather see something like that in person as well. Oh, this, I don't know why it's way down here among all this stuff. This is a great retinol serum. This is the serum that, the first retinol serum that I used. It's Karen Grossman, Dr. Karen Grossman. It's supposed to be pronounced caring. Um, it smells like pledge lemon pledge which kind of annoys me because i just have that association with being a kid and using lemon pledge but it worked so well it was a great starter retinol and i i do recommend it i really do recommend it <clears throat> i believe she's a dermatologist she is a doctor Okay, so now we're at the things that are out of stock. I touched on Mighty Patches. People like their stuff. Um, people are talking a lot about this on the forum. It's not microwave safe. That's something to note if you're eyeing it. Oh, people are talking about a, a lot about this, and I did purchase this, and I just haven't thought to use it when my husband and I are doing things, but... People are saying that this stuff works so well, and I'm so happy to see that. I need to get it out and start using it. It's for sexy time. <laughs> I have the one of the Ahava bath salts. I think it's the eucalyptus one. And I'm surprised it doesn't smell nice and relaxing. If maybe if I had like achy joints and achy muscles, it would be nice. But I felt like it did not live up to the hype. Oh, this is surprisingly wonderful. Um, this was sent to me by a friend and the ease of use of this and getting a straightforward everyday eye look. It has an eyeliner, an eyebrow pencil, it has a matte brown and a shimmery tan color for eyeshadow. It blends well, it's super easy, it goes so fast. I uh, was delightfully surprised to use it. Here's another Ojai product. This is the same Urban Outfitters brand, brand I talked about earlier, but that is a good price for a lip jelly, so it could be good. I remember when this was in a box, I think it was, it was really popular. I have a purse like this, and it's really, really nice just to have a tiny purse that fits your wallet and your phone, and that, if that's all you need, so that's, that is all, all about all it can fit. 
Fat Boy products. I already talked about Fat Boy, so I won't say anything else about them. This looks pretty. Some people, it had mixed reviews on Sephora. So if you're interested in it, go read the reviews. This video is getting crazy long. <laughs> um, here's more Earth Mama. This looks really intriguing as well, but they have a bunch of reviews on their website. Some people said it was, it was mixed reviews. So I ended up dumping it from my cart. Um, mainly people said they could just really still feel it on their skin. And I don't like that. I don't like I don't like feeling like I can feel a product on my skin or in my hair. I like feeling like it is not there. This Kopari deodorant has good reviews on Ulta. Milk makeup, such mixed reviews. Um... This Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick has pretty decent reviews. I ended up dumping, dumping it because this looks like a really cool tone. I don't wear a lot of cool tones. You can go to, um, where did I see this? It may have been on Amazon actually where I was able to see a picture of this on someone's lips. Um, but it's very cool toned. I don't know how well I do with cool toned and I just don't need more lip products. I am a sucker for liquid lipsticks and I just don't need any more so I uh, dumped it from my cart this is cute that's cute that's cute <laughs> um, okay this is the Corez body butter that I mentioned I have seen. Yeah, this has a formaldehyde releaser in it. So if you're eyeing this, um, that's just a type of ingredient that I tend to avoid. So I would I would recommend avoiding it. But, you know, that's just something I like to point out with their lotions. They're, they're, other than that, they are great body butters. I did use one. Um, and it was amazing at how soft it made my skin feel, but then I learned about that. Very cute clothes. I just have one of those body types where I can't gamble that it's going to look good on me. And that's it. We did it. We did it. This is the longest video I've ever made. I am so amazed by you if you made it to this part. If you did, tell me in the comments below. Maybe I'll send you a prize. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy shopping. I will see you in my next video.